Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Sean. In this video, I'm going to talk about the good news and the bad news when it comes to building muscle. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas, I turn into videos just like this. All right, this is a topic I don't hear discussed often, but I was discussing it with another lifter this past weekend. And this is the good, This let me start with the bad news. This is the bad news. To start as a beginner and get to where you want to go regarding muscle mass, we're just talking muscle mass here, it requires three, four, five years of hard work, of progressive overload, of consistency. It's extremely challenging. You have to be extremely focused and you have to work your ass off. It's not an easy process, okay? The mechanism to get there is rather easy. It's rather simple. It's not super complicated, but but to put in the work and to be consistent with the work is difficult. That's the bad news. The good news is that once you get there, once you have built a solid amount of muscle mass, it's rather easy to maintain. Now, I'm not saying you're, you're going to get to the level of muscle mass you want and you can stop going to the gym. That's not what I'm saying at all. Maintaining muscle mass is so much easier than building it. Maintaining a state of conditioning when you're an athlete is so much easier than it is building up that level of conditioning. The same can be said for strength. Maintaining strength is so much easier than building strength. So just remember that the good news and the bad news, it's going to require three, four, five years of hard work for you to pack on that quality amount of muscle mass you want. But once you get there, you're pretty much set for life. It's, it's like just like a, like an object that's in motion. It doesn't take much to keep that object in motion. You just have to train smart. You can even reduce the volume a little bit. Um, you don't have to be as abusive on your body. When it comes to strength, though, I will say this, that strength can leave rather quickly. Strength can leave more quickly than muscle mass. So, but then again, it tends to come back rather quickly. So when you're building strength, yeah, it's going to require three, four, five years to build a quality amount of strength. Maintaining it, if you get away from the gym, you're going to start to lose it, you know, after a month. But getting it back is just going to require a time investment because anybody that's taken time away from the gym realizes that their strength comes back much more rapidly after, after they've already built it, if that makes sense. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.